We all look forward to the future, but have you ever realized that we only see the past? It actually takes 80 milliseconds for your brain to process information, meaning we're never truly living in the now. Not to mention, it takes time for light from an object to reach your eyes. So technically, you see how they looked a fraction of a second ago. Similarly, when you look up at the stars, you're actually seeing light that has taken years to travel to Earth, thus seeing how the stars looked in the past. The next time you're looking, you may want to consider that that light has traveled all the way through the universe until it bumped into you. So watch out. Or not, because seconds ago you were miles away. How? Well, the Earth is rotating while simultaneously revolving around the Sun. But the Sun is also spinning around the galaxy, which in turn is flying through the universe, making your chance interaction with that light pretty incredible. It sort of puts the size of things into perspective, like the fact that a dust particle is roughly halfway between the size of Earth and a subatomic particle. Meanwhile, there are more atoms in a glass of water than there are glasses of water in all of Earth's oceans. Speaking of oceans, if all the oxygen on Earth disappeared for just 5 seconds, the ocean's hydrogen atoms would be free and evaporate completely into space. By the way, you can't actually see the Great Wall of China from space. You can, however, see the air pollution. Feeling disoriented? If you travel north, you'll eventually go south, but if you travel west, you'll always be traveling west. Travel to buy a lottery ticket, and your chance of dying on the way is actually higher than winning. Meanwhile, when a pregnant woman suffers organ damage, such as a heart attack, the fetus sends stem cells to the damaged organ to help repair it. Hot outside? The resting temperature of testicles is around 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning on a hot day, it's literally hot as balls. Hopefully that made you smile, because even faking a smile stimulates the same part of the brain as a real one, which can trigger endorphins and happiness. At the end of the day, humans are really just machines that turn energy into ideas. And it turns out that all of history and time has led to you listening to these ideas right now. So thanks for your time. If you want even more facts, make sure you're following our Facebook and Twitter where we post new science stuff every day. And if you want the inside scoop on upcoming episode ideas and behind the scenes, check out our personal Instagram and Twitter handles. And subscribe for more weekly science videos.